3.2b, two-step equations with negative variables. If there is no number in front of a variable, we always assume that there is a 1 in front. This means if we see a negative x, it would be the same as having a negative 1x. Just like if we see an x, would be the same as having a 1x. We will look at how this applies in solving a two-step equation. In example one, we have negative x plus eight equals five. As usual, we have to do order of operations backwards, which means start by adding and subtracting anything away from the x. It is helpful once again to put a dotted line to ensure you do it to both sides. We start by doing the opposite of positive eight, which means doing negative eight to both sides. This leaves us with negative x equals negative three. At this point, it looks as if x is alone, but it is not. There is still a negative there. We must get rid of this negative. Remember that negative x is the same as negative one x which means that there is a negative one being multiplied by the x. To get rid of the negative one that's being multiplied, we do the opposite and we divide by a negative one on both sides. This means that negative one divided by negative one is one x, which we write as x equals negative three divided by negative one is a positive three x equals three is your final answer. In example two, you see that we can also have the negative x on the other side of the equals. Once again, we start by writing a dotted line down where the equal sign is to ensure that we do things to both sides. We look and we see that there's a negative six minus an x. Once again, you always do the adding and subtracting before the multiplying and dividing in order to solve, which means we do the opposite or add six to both sides. This gives us two equals negative six plus six is zero. We do not write the zero and therefore just write negative x. At this point it looks as if x is alone, but remember there is a one. So it's actually negative one x. We therefore have to do the opposite of the multiplication that's happening by dividing both sides by a negative one. When we do this, negative one divided by negative one is one x, or simply x. Two divided by negative one is negative two. Remember that a positive divided by a negative is a negative. This results in the answer of x equals negative two. Remember that if there is no variable or no number in front of a variable, it is implied that there is a one.